be the most well articulated or edited video, but I just quit smoking and I need to do something to distract myself, so uh, maybe someone out there will get something out of this. Why do I bring that up? Well, usually when you quit an addiction, and believe me, I have a lot of experience in that field, there's this moment where you wonder, why the hell did I even start doing this shit in the first place? The answer to that question leads into the topic of this video. I started smoking when I was a kid. Uh, I was about 14, if I recall correctly, maybe 15, um, whatever. Why? Well... George Carlin knows why. Kids don't smoke because a camel in sunglasses tells them to. <laughs> they smoke for the same reasons adults do, because it relieves anxiety and depression. Accurate, at least in my case. I was a miserable teenager. I had insomnia, I was depressed, I had anxiety attacks, etc, etc. If you're a teenager and you're feeling that shit and you think there's something wrong with you, there isn't. It's like that for everybody. Some have an easier time of it than others, granted, but by and large, all your peers are just as miserable as you are. They're just hiding it behind Instagram filters. Still, there is another reason I started smoking, and it's really simple. Smoking was cool. However much those anti-smoking campaigns try to deny it, when you're 16 and you're smoking a cigarette and drinking a beer, you feel like a badass. You think, wow, I'm such a fucking adult right now. But you'd be wrong. See, here's what I wish I'd known back then. All those things that make you one of the cool kids when you're a teenager, uh, smoking, drinking, taking drugs, dressing in extreme clothes, using tons of unnecessary slang, just make you an annoying asshole when you're an adult. Sorry, kids but it's true. Just trust me, it's not like I'm standing outside a bar smoking and the other 30 year olds are looking at me like, hey, this guy's awesome. No, they're just like stepping away so they don't have to inhale that shit and giving me shitty looks. My girlfriend doesn't think I'm a badass when I smoke, she just thinks it makes me smell bad. Wow, I make life unpleasant for complete strangers and people I love. How cool am I? All my clothes smell like burnt ass. Real, real fly there, homie. Yeah, fuck me. Now how about drinking? Well, drinking's great until you're old enough to do it legally. That's probably when you should stop. It doesn't make you cool as an adult, it's just normal. And if you do it too much like I do, you're not a party animal. There's no more parties when you're 30. You're just an alcoholic. People who watch me drink don't think, wow, this guy's wild. No, that's when you're like 18. Now they just look at me and think, holy shit, this guy needs help. And you know what? They're right. Same thing with drugs, man. Cool when you're a kid. Concerning when you're old. If you're 17 and your friend says, hey man, we should pop some ecstasy this weekend, you're like, fuck yeah. If someone says that to you when you're 35, you're like, what is wrong with this guy's life? What is he trying to escape? I can't even enjoy drugs anymore. Every time I take them, I just feel ashamed of myself. And the clothes thing, yeah, save the costumes for Halloween. Uh, you ever seen someone who's like 30 or 40 and they're still like dressing goth? Or they're still rocking the punk look with some big crazy hairdo and patches all over their shit? I mean, look, if you're one of those people, more power to you, man. I'm not trying to shit on your life. But personally, if I tried to wear the same clothes I was wearing as a teenager, I'd just feel like a fucking clown. <laughs> You ever seen that movie, The World's End, with Simon Pegg? Yeah, that could be me. Horrifyingly, bewilderingly accurate, you could have reached into 16-year-old me's closet and pulled that outfit out on one hanger. All I wanted when I was a kid was to fit in, and I did. I did it really really well. But there was a massive cost. It left me with a bunch of problems that have persisted well into my adult life, and because of those problems now, I don't fit in. And this is when it really counts. It actually means something now, not just in terms of acceptance by my peers. I mean that the things that make you cool as an adult are legitimately important things. Everybody else my age has their shit together. They're starting families. Some of them started families five years ago, and now they got kids who are like, 
almost people. They've got careers, they've got wealth, they have the real adult lives that I was so amateurishly misguidedly trying to imitate when I was a kid. That whole time I was supposed to be building a life, I was just struggling with the consequences of the choices I made as a teenager. I was a fucking junkie, I was all messed up, and now I'm in my 30s and I'm starting from square one. I have nothing to offer anyone except a word of caution. If you're a young person and you've somehow stumbled upon this video and you've been worrying about shit like not being invited to parties, not having enough friends, or you feel like you're not part of the right clique, let me tell you something. That shit doesn't matter. Your social life in high school and college only matters when you're there. After that, it means Nothing. And I'm not your boring ass parents telling you this shit. No. There's a guy at your school. He's the party guy. He's friends with everyone. Girls think he's cool. You always hear him talking about all the wild shit that happened over the weekend. You know, getting fucked up and having fun. Uh, dodging the cops, getting into trouble, whatever. You may have thought, man, that guy's life sounds fucking fun. Maybe you're a little envious of that guy. Maybe sometimes you wish you were that guy. Well, I'm that guy. I'm that guy, but it's 20 years in the future. And trust me, that shit does not turn out well. Forget all of it. Find a couple good friends. Get each other's backs. That's all you need. There's no super secret fun time you're missing out on. Everybody's depressed. Everybody's awkward. Everybody's in pain. Some of us just figured out how to hide it when we were young. That's all. Just get through school. Don't fuck your life up. And the moment you leave... None of it will ever matter ever again. Please, trust me on this. Please. So yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Go fuck yourself.